We've got one of the most powerful, out-of-the-box, ready-to-run vehicles available with large 1.7 scale sizing, outfitted with a wicked muscle car styling, and it does 80 miles an hour. And it's not an infraction. Today we're guilty of going full send with the all-new Arma Felony. Dude, this thing is bad. Now last year we made a video on the Arma Infraction, which was a brand new platform at the time and it's an amazing vehicle and the Felony is based off of that platform. Except there's been some updates that are really great in some ways and one that maybe is not so much. But we'll get to that later. Now just like the Infraction, the Arma Felony is a fully ready to run vehicle that comes pre-assembled, painted body with the transmitter and all the brushless electronics needed to hit that advertised 80 miles an hour right out of the box. A few items are needed though, like four AA alkaline batteries to power the transmitter, and then you'll need LiPo batteries for the car. And you're gonna need some big batteries if you wanna go fast. The Felony has two battery boxes, one on the left and one on the right. For maximum power and speed, you'll need 6S LiPo battery power. Using two 3S LiPo batteries will give you best chassis balance. Or if you want, you could use a single 6S LiPo and an included jumper loop is included. Now, if for some reason you don't want maximum power and speed, you can use a 4S LiPo batteries. Of course, two 2Ss or a single 4S LiPo will do the job. But whatever batteries you choose, they need to have either IC5 or EC5 battery connectors to be compatible. So that's what you need to get the car to go. But what are the new updates? Well, for one, we have the new Spectrum Firma 150 amp smart ESC, which features smart technology. So it's possible to receive telemetry data about voltage, temperatures, RPMs with the Spectrum dashboard app using your iOS or Android device. Another big update to this platform is the Spectra Firma 4074 2050 KV brushless motor. And then that black heat sink and fan, which is a great update. We've been driving in 100 degree heat and the motor temps were impressively cool. One thing to note though, the attached fan is an odd size. It's a 35 by 35 by 10 millimeter fan. And with the heat sink having only mounting holes for that specific size, it's going to be hard mounting any other sized aftermarket fans. Now the next big update, which is really cool, is the D-shaped pinion gears, which key on to the end of the motor shaft. And then at the end of that, now there's the use of an E-clip to secure the pinion. This is a really great update that should be incorporated in a lot of other RCs, but essentially if the pinion gear set screw backs out for whatever reason, Reason and becomes loose, that pinion gear will still stay activated on the motor shaft. So you still have throttle and most importantly, you can still brake and slow down. And lastly, this platform now receives the Spectrum DX3 transmitter, which offers a lot better range when you're doing those speed runs with the car a lot further away from you. Before, there were a lot of people complaining that the DX2E had a loss of range where you would lose control of your car, but with the DX3, you shouldn't have any more issues. The DX3 will also display the vehicle's battery power using these LEDs here on the transmitter, so you can just at a glance take a peek to see how much battery remains mains as long as you're using Spectrum smart batteries. And then lastly, the felony includes AVC, active vehicle control, which you can control the gain of that using this knob right here on the transmitter. And the AVC is especially handy at keeping that rear end hooked up when the traction levels are lower. So those are the updates to the platform in general, but what makes the felony unique? Well, it really comes down to the tires and this body. And this is quite the body. It's available in this murdered out black and an orange color, and both will be painted in a matte slash gloss finish. Now this body styling is inspired around older muscle cars and it's designed to look really aggressive. The front end grille and bumper look angry even sitting on the front air splitter. The fenders are even pushed out to mimic a wide body kit. And in the rear end, you have this huge oversized wing that you can remove for less drag. And in fact, on the box art bodywork, it's removed. For the average driver though, that big old wing is gonna help add stability to the car. But if you choose to remove it, you'll see the natural spoiler molded into the body. Now under that wing is even more aggressive styling, our exhaust scale accessory, and the massive air diffuser to further help stabilize 
high speed runs. You can even further customize the body with the included hood accessories that Arma includes for a turbo setup, there's a blower setup, or you can just leave it blank. It's really up to you. Now for our car, we added the blower and it was really a quick installation. And once it's mounted on there, it's not going anywhere because it's secured underneath with this plastic brace and two screws that holds it in place even if you're gonna flip on your lid. And then we also took off that big old rear wing just because it adds more drag and we preferred the look without. And once complete, this is one bad, mean, aggressive, aerodynamic looking felon. But the looks are just one part of it. How fast does it go? Well, the felony includes two different pinion gears. There's a 16 tooth and a 27 tooth. On the car is the 16 tooth and it's recommended for just general street bashing. Then the 27 tooth is included. So if you wanna really lay down the power and speed, you use the 27 tooth for your speed runs and only your speed runs. If you do any general bashing with that higher pinion gear, you will most definitely burn up those electronics. So for our very first speed run, we left that 16 tooth pinion on there just to see how fast it would go. And we paired it with a single 6S LiPo battery. Now using our GPS speed meter and after a few warm up passes, we hit a top speed of 65 miles per hour. Pretty impressive. But what about the 27 tooth speed run pinion gear? Well, we put it on and then used two 3S LiPo batteries to try to better balance the chassis. And we tested again. This time, oh man. Okay. We started Good out shot. just doing a few warm up passes, trying to get a feel for the car, the power, the speed, and how aggressive it is. And then we went full send. That was, that was not good. Did exactly what I was afraid of, dude. I slid out when I hit the brakes. And then, and then Bunny hopped off the curb. I don't have any power. Something happened. Okay, that's not bad. That's just the uh, front air splitter. It's definitely dinged up a little bit. If that's all that came off, that's good. Now look at the speed. Oh, wow. Both batteries came disconnected. Holy smokes, that's crazy. So nothing appears broke. So we got a little rash on there on the front Lexan. It's not broken, it doesn't even appear cracked. It's definitely scuffed. So that splitter must have just ripped right out of the holes in the bumper. So let's put the body back on and do it again. Yeah, it literally did what you uh, said you didn't want to happen the first try. Yeah, the brake strength is really high. Like too high, I need to start slowing down sooner or something. We'll let it coast. Yes! Look at the speed. That was freaking fast. That's the fastest I've ever driven an RC car. And it was scary. I think it hit the curb that last time, but. Okay, that's, that's good. No more, we're not gonna do any more speed runs. And 85 miles an hour was our top speed, which is book in, especially for an out of the box, ready to run car. Now when doing those speed runs, I mentioned that the brakes were too strong causing us to slide out, but that's not entirely the truth. There's a lot of ash on the ground right now because of all the local fires. And that was a contributor to why we lacked some traction. And also our tires are nearly bald and that's probably contributing to it. But we're gonna talk about the tires because it's kind of a big topic 
at the end of this video. Now later on, after our speed runs, we put back that 16 tooth bashing pinion gear and we did some good old street bashing. <laughs> This thing is bad. Oh my God. Yeah, it is awesome. But remember how I said earlier there was an update that maybe wasn't so great? Well, that's the tires, or more specifically, the size of them. Overall, these are great tires. They're belted, they have little arrows pointing you in the right direction, the five spoke wheels look great, the glue didn't come undone, the belts didn't break, but they're a different size front to rear, and I don't mean just wider, the rear tires are taller. And with this being a four wheel drive vehicle, that's only possible because the rear gearbox has a slightly different gearing than the front gearbox. Which really means you can't use aftermarket tires with this car the way it is. It is possible though to change the gearing in the rear gearbox to the front, and then you could use aftermarket tires that are the same size front and rear. Now I guess none of this really matters if you plan on using the stock tires that come with this car. But if using aftermarket tires is important to you, then that may be a concern, and perhaps the brand new infraction may better suit you. Because let me tell you, this thing burns through tires if you're gonna drive it 
like you stole it. Other than that, the Felony is an amazing car with really aggressive looks, it has brutal power, and it just really gets your heart pumping. And it's definitely for the experienced advanced users only, for the RC guy who needs like an extreme RC vehicle to play with every once in a while when the smaller cars aren't quite cutting it. Please be safe out there guys, RC cars that are capable of 80 miles an hour need to be respected and taken seriously and should always be driven with extreme caution. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I did making it. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and leave us any questions or comments down below. I'm Brett from A-Main Hobbies, thanks for watching.